Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you for taking your own time out to check out this video where I've just gotten back from the cinema and seen an early screening of a movie that is scheduled to come out on March 10th and that is called Champions which is actually a remake of a Spanish movie from 2018 if I'm not mistaken. Now the movie is directed by Bobby Farrelly who has got producing credits on Shallow Hal, There's Something About Mary and me, myself and Irene, which is quite impressive. So it's cool to see him taking the director's chair for this outing that stars Woody Harrelson, Caitlin Olsen and Ernie Hudson. Now, we can't just acknowledge those actors. We have got to acknowledge our intellectually disabled actors as well, who do a phenomenal job, by the way, which I'll get into. But those actors are Madison Trevlin, Alex Hintz, Joshua Felder, Casey Metcalf, Kevin Inucci, Bradley Edens, Aston Gunning, Matthew Von Der Aar, Tom Sinclair, James D. Keefe. And essentially the plot of Champions is all around a former minor league basketball coach who was ordered by the coach to manage a team of players who have intellectual disabilities. However, will he be able to take them further than they've ever gone before? So, yeah, I like a good sports movie. I like a good comedy movie most and foremost, too. So when I saw the trailer for this movie, I thought, oh, okay, this looks cool. I got, like, a couple of, like, little chuckles from the trailer. So I was like, yeah, I'm just expecting just a fun time. And what I will say is after checking this out, that is exactly what I got. I will say that all the performances across the board are really good here, especially from all of our cast. And I think that they provide... A really nice heartwarming story and an emotional one which I feel like some people will feel emotional after walking out from seeing this movie. The total runtime is two hours and three minutes although I would probably say about three minutes it's probably account for the credits so technically kind of two hours really if you think about it that way I guess and there's plenty of basketball to be had here. If you're not a fan of basketball then yeah maybe not for you but yeah, I just really like what they had on show and how they showcase this team and how they start from where they start up until the end. And that's not really a spoiler because throughout this movie, it's fairly predictable. You've seen this type of film played out before. You know kind of the plot beats that's going to happen and, you know, the happiness and the sad or like some kind of shock reveal or a breakup or a fallout that kind of stuff's all in here so it's nothing really brand new adding to the genre where it does add something different though is having actual intellectually disabled actors play the parts also which i can only commend this movie for its inclusivity and just the diversity that is on show and present here because they have a chance to shine and by gosh they do shine every one of the actors are fantastic a lot of them are really hilarious they get the most chuckles throughout even more than a seasoned veteran woody harrelson you know who by the way does good in this movie he is kind of just typical woody harrelson being honest but that's not necessarily a bad thing he is kind of known for playing a role and he does that really well and this is just another example as he plays coach marcus and yeah, overall, I found this to be, you know, just an entertaining time. It was two hours and three minutes long. Didn't find myself bored at any point throughout this movie. It is great to see Ernie Hudson back in another movie. I haven't seen that guy in such a long time. So when he was included here, I was like, wow, yeah, great, great to have him here. And I also think that Caitlin Olsen does a really good job as Alex, who is a sister for Johnny and kind of a love interest for Woody Howells and characters in the trailer, so it's not really a spoiler. Now, in terms of any negatives that I have for Champions, what I will say here is that, as I say, it is predictable. You know exactly where the story's going to go. So if you're looking for something that's going to be brand new and completely shock you in a comedy, you're not going to get that here. And I will also say, I think there was like one or two little minor scenes here I didn't really think needed to be in. Not to say that I was bored by the movie because I wasn't, as I said before. But as I said, I just felt like there was a little bit baggage that didn't really need to be there. Or maybe one less bag in that conveyor belt of the formula. But besides that, yeah, Champions, I had a really good time with this. I walked out with a smile on my face. Despite not feeling the full emotions, I did at certain points throughout. But 
at the end of it, I didn't feel it completely. But as I say, I really enjoyed this movie. I walked out with a smile on my face. And yeah, once this comes out at the cinema, yeah, I really would be cool to hear that people give this a shot because I know that it is coming out basically at the same time as Scream 6, which I kind of know which one's going to probably be more popular. But yeah, this is definitely a good watch. Is it a rewatchable one? Yeah, I would say that I would rewatch this in the future. Can't really say that I'm in like a massive rush to do so. But yeah, definitely would like to visit this one again. So my overall score for Champions is a 3.5 out of 5 stars. So have you seen Champions? Or are you actually going to go check it out? I'll leave any and all comments down below so we can continue the discussion down there. If you've enjoyed the review, I'd give it a big thumbs up. And I'd also appreciate it if you press the red subscribe button down below. So I can see you again on a future video. If you're unaware, I do have a Patreon. There is a couple of levels that you can select, starting from £2 per month, going all the way to £5 a month currently and they include a host of bunch of different perks some really cool early access to videos you can even request movies for me to watch and review on patreon exclusive or onto my youtube channel and you get so much more perks including merch that is coming very very soon so the link to my patreon is down below in the description box uh, go check it out and i want to give a big massive thank you to all my awesome patreons on level one or two for supporting the channel it really means a lot and they all have youtube channels so please go show them some support and until the next time that i see you i'll be seeing you later